Is that telling me you're ready to go hunting? Do you want to go hunting spiders? Well, we're going to talk about how spiders hunt today. Hey, Jean, do you want to know some interesting thing about, things about spiders? Yeah. Some spiders hunt with webs. No, come back. These are interesting. All the spiders that build webs don't have to be taught. They just know how to do it. Their parents don't even have to teach them. And it takes about 60 minutes for a spider to build a web, about an hour. And some spiders eat their old web before they start a new one. Others, others just roll up the old web and toss it away. And they have to build... Yes, Luna, they have to build a new web every day. Also, you're finding this interesting, huh? Also, water spiders, sorry about that. Water spiders make webs underwater and the spider traps air bubbles so it can breathe underwater. So it breeds, molts, raises babies, and eats insects that come near the web. Isn't that fascinating? So I hope you've just watched a video of a spider spinning a web. It's fascinating to see them do it up close. Now, not all spiders spin webs to catch food. Some hunt other ways. So we're gonna read a book called How Spiders Hunt by Sarah Murphy and Madeline Heckman. These are hunting spiders. There are many different kinds of spiders living all over the world. All spiders are hunter. hunters. Many spiders hunt with webs like this, but not all. Some spiders hunt in other ways. They set traps, make nests, make nets, jump on their prey, or even fish. Weaving webs. All spiders can make silk. Silk comes from parts of a spider's body called spinnerets. Different kinds of spiders use their silk to weave different kinds of webs. These webs work to catch spiders' prey. You can see there's different kinds of webs. This is called a spiral orb web. In the middle is a tangled web. A funnel web over here. Down below that is a sheet web. And over here is a tubular web. I mean, stretch out your arms. That's about three feet. The net casting spider has a different way of trap to trap bugs with its silk. It weaves a web between its four front legs. Then it hangs from a plant and waits. When a bug walks under its hiding spot, the spider stretches the web and spreads it over the bug. The bug can't escape. Spider silk is five or six times stronger than the same thickness of steel. There is no other natural or man-made fiber that is as strong. Setting traps. Not all spiders make webs to catch food. Trapdoor spiders dig holes in the dirt called burrows. At the top of a burrow, they build a small door from silk, plants, and dirt. Then they cover the door with more plants and dirt to hide it. This sounds tricky. The trapdoor spider is nocturnal. That means it hunts at night. When night comes, the spider holds onto the sides of the door with some of its feet. Holds onto the insides of the door with some of its feet. It can feel the door vibrate or move when the mouse walks on it. The spider springs out of its burrow and grabs the mouse. It drags the mouse into its burrow and shuts the door. Trapdoor spiders catch and eat frogs, bugs, and baby birds too. Some even set up their burrow near water to catch small fish. Jumping on prey. Many spiders can't see well. They depend on feeling their webs or tra they depend upon feeling their webs or traps shake to catch prey. Jumping spiders have excellent eyesight. They can hunt without webs. Spiders can have zero to 12 eyes, but most have eight. Jumping spiders sneak up on bugs or wait for bugs to come close. When they attack, these spiders move so rapidly the bugs can't see them in time to get away. A jumping spider can jump 40 to 50 times its body length. The wolf spider can run two feet in one second. It's like a person running the 100 meter dash in only one second. Fishing for food. While most spiders only hunt on land, one kind of spider can hunt both on land and in the water. This is the fishing spider. Fishing spiders can go underwater for up to 30 minutes. They get air from bubbles, they get stuck in the thick hairs on their bodies. They grab small fish and tadpoles that swim too close. 
They can also run across the top of the water and grab bugs there. Take a look at the picture in the middle of the page. Do you see the shiny, shiny part of the spider's body? That's an air bubble. Eating. When a spider catches something to eat, it bites its prey with its big front teeth called fangs. There's a liquid in the spider's fangs called venom. It goes into the animal and kills it. Many people believe that spiders suck the blood out of their prey after killing it, but they don't. This, okay, get ready for this. The spider vomits on the dead bug. The vomit makes the bug meat softer so the spider can chew it. The spider vomits and chews many times as it eats the bug. When the spider is done eating, the bug is just an empty shell. Spiders are excellent hunters. From webs to traps to sneak attacks, they're always ready to catch their next meal. One spider can eat about 2,000 bugs in one year. Okay, so for an assignment today, I want you to draw a spider web. And it can be any kind of spider web. You just saw several in the book. I'm going to show you a picture, close up pictures of a few more. Here's an orb weaver spider and the web. Here's that net casting spider in its web that we just read about in the book. Here's a tangle web spider web. So pick one of those spider webs or another spider web from a different kind of spider Draw it as carefully as you can. Unless you're doing a tangle web, web, uh, it shouldn't be all tangled looking. You can see how spiders are very, very careful about how they do it. I'm sure even tangle web spiders have a reason for doing them the way they do. So draw your spider web in your journal. You can draw the spider or not, that's up to you. If you do decide to draw a spider though, make sure you've got the right number of body parts, the right number of legs. And then write a sentence telling me what you, telling me about the spider web, what it looks like. Describe it in one sentence or two if you want to. Talk about what it looks like. And then take a picture and put it in your portfolio. Okay, before we're done, we're going to try one more thing. This is a tongue twister about spiders. Let's see if I can say it, and then we'll try saying it a couple times, getting faster and faster if we can. A speedy spider spun spotted socks. That's a lot of SP words in a row. That's what makes it a tongue twister. Let's try it. A speedy spider spun spotted socks. Let's try it a little bit faster. A speedy spider spun spotted socks. I am pretty good at this. One more time. A speedy spider spun spotted socks. One more time, as fast as we can go. A speedy spider spun spotted socks. Okay, I'm done. My tongue is getting twisted. See you next time.